Hey guys, it's Toby from Bautissimo, and today I'll be running through all the music features we have in the dashboard of Bautissimo. Having your stream have music is honestly such a vibe and adds a level of ambiance that makes the stream feel more inviting and welcoming to the average viewer. Today I'll show you how to play music on your stream without getting a DMCA strike, display it on your stream, and how to take music requests from viewers in the chat. Let's go ahead and get right into it. So in order to actually set up the music player within Bautissimo, you want to go to the dashboard, go all the way down to engage and go to music player. And this is where you can control the music that's being played on your stream. So you can see here in the default screen, we have a couple of playlists that you can use just right out of the gate. If you don't have a specific music playlist for your stream yet, all you have to do is click add to queue and it'll add all the songs to queue and it will allow you to basically play these songs in the order that they are displayed. If there's a playlist that isn't in Bautissimo that you wanna add, all you have to do is click add to queue and then enter the YouTube video URL or playlist URL, hit save, and that playlist will show up on your music player section and it will show you all the videos and or music videos that are being queued within that playlist. If you'd like to take song requests from viewers, the, the way to do that is by going to the button to the right of add to queue, which is song requests, open this up, and if you have this enabled, then the song request command will be enabled in your chat. If you wanna limit the platforms on which the song request command works, then you can do that here. If you have one of these unchecked, like YouTube and Facebook, then that means when a viewer tries to use that command within your chat on those platforms, it will not register and the uh, song request will not actually queue into your music player. Discord channels is where you can basically allow the song request command to work in a specific Discord community server or in a specific Discord channel. The cost section is really just basically the amount of points to use the actual song request command. The request limit is basically the number of songs a viewer can have in the request queue itself. So if I set this to one, that means only one song can be requested by one viewer at a time while it's in the queue. The YouTube channel ID serves to stand as basically allowing you to restrict what songs can be requested from YouTube. So if you enter a YouTube channel ID, only songs from this specific YouTube channel will be played. If you wanna make sure that the viewers are actually requesting songs and not just random YouTube videos, what you can do is you can click this box right here, which says YouTube videos must be in the music category. If the YouTube video is not not in the music category on YouTube's platform itself, then the song will not be queued into the music player. Once you have all of your song request settings dialed in and to your liking, you can close out of it. And to the right of the song request button is the player controls. So this is where you can enable the actual music to play and pause. So if you switch this switch over, it'll start playing the music that's in the playlist. And if you switch it back again, then it'll actually stop it. The volume is pretty simple. This is where you can control the output of the actual song itself. So if it's too loud, then you can lower it right here. Or if it's too quiet, you can raise it right here. So now that you've got your music queued in and that you're ready to start streaming, but you wanna show people what they're actually listening to on your stream visually. So in order to add a music overlay to your stream, what you wanna do is go to stream overlays, go all the way down to the music category and you can see we have a couple different customization and feature options that we can use to enable an overlay for our stream with the live music player basically this will embed the actual youtube video playing the song with the audio and the title of the current song so in order to kind of show what this looks like all i have to do is copy url go into your broadcasting software i'm using obs right now click add browser create new, I'm gonna do live music, paste in the link that we had from our Bautissimo dashboard, make sure the width is 800 and the height is 500, make sure that there's no custom CSS in the background, and click OK. And you can see that the actual music video thumbnail and the live video itself are on our overlay now. So now you can put this anywhere you want on your stream and it will show the audio and it'll show the title and it'll show the actual video associated with that music. The now playing feature of the music overlay is basically just the basic thumbnail with no audio and the title of the current song. The last section of the music player is the last FM overlay. And what this allows you to do is basically put in your username for last FM and show the thumbnail for whatever song you're playing through your Spotify or Apple Music or YouTube or however you play your music during stream. If you don't wanna show the actual thumbnail of the music that's being played by YouTube all the time, go into the stream overlays category, go back up to the top, go to events, go to music, 
make sure you click this button right here that says enable now playing events to actually add it to your live stream. All you need to do is follow the same steps that were used in order to get the original music player overlay into your stream. So I'm gonna go ahead and copy URL. I'm gonna go back into OBS. I'm gonna hide this. I'm gonna click add browser, do event overlay. We're gonna paste in our link. Make sure it's 800 by 600, no CSS, and click OK. And now, when we create a test event, so say we just want to make sure it works, we can do a test event right here in the Bautismo dashboard. And you can see that now it has the actual thumbnail and the title of the song that's being played. I will say as well that you can actually control the music from your Twitch chat as well. So if you use commands such as the command music followed by either stop, next, or start, will either pause, play, or skip the music that's being currently played on your stream. And that's all there really is to the music player. It's super simple and honestly just adds a total vibe to your stream that is really beneficial to keeping users engaged and having a good time in your chat. If you guys have any more questions, feel free to join our community Discord where we have a great support team that can answer any one of your inquiries and where you can also meet other like-minded people who are just trying to grow your stream like yours. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you in the next one. Peace.